Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Cold Waters, episode number 12, in originally the Narwhal series, now we're playing as a Los Angeles. I have finally heard you loud and clear. We will try to deploy decoys a little bit earlier. And I want to say, first of all, thank you for the criticism. I want to improve at the any game I'm playing, so uh, even if you've had to mention it, you know, like five times <laughs> over this series, message I think is finally penetrating the old school. So uh, our mission right now, I believe, is just to return to Holy Lock, and we're trying to see if running down a bunch of ASW stuff that the Russians have out, like in the Barents Sea and now in the Norwegian Sea, or previously in the Norwegian Sea, if it has any impact. I'm kind of starting to speculate no. Anyways, let's not worry about it for the moment. Let's just go back to Holy Lock. Wait, do we already? Did we already rearm. Yeah, we did. Let's review those orders. Um, we're going into the Barents Sea again. Damn it, anyhow. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, not what I wanted, but let's just go ahead and kill some submarines or something on the way there. That sounds fun to me. I kind of like the fact that it appears our patrol speed and the Russian patrol speed is the same. Let's go ahead and... I want to run. I want to run into a, one of these submarines. I want to. I'm mad. I want to take somebody down. And darn it, anyhow, I forgot to load up the mod with the actual sea depth. Um, I'm gonna have to do that. I really am. Okay, let's take a note here of what we have. We have um, contact at one four four, and we are moving patrol speed. I think I got patrol speed activated just in time. Okay, good. So. Um, that's exactly the configuration I want. Let's man battle stations. 144. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Let's look at our layers. There are none. It is noisy. This is terrible. Alright, rudder hard to port. Let's uh, full rudder to left. Full left rudder. Let's go find these guys. And we have planes down a little, but. I suppose what I actually want to do, if there's no layer whatsoever, is just get deep. Give ourselves a little bit of distance uh, to maneuver upward or downward. Once we're getting, we're now limited. I mean, we have damage control back. We have our hull back up to 100%, but Passing we're still limited to about 1,300 as our minimum depth, or our maximum depth, I guess you would say. So let me just do it this way, because. This is really confusing. This number goes down by pushing the up arrow. I understand the concept of moving depth higher and depth lower, but you have to admit that pushing down does not intuitively trigger, for me, an increase in numbers. It triggers a decrease in numbers. Do we have any contacts, by the way? None, I imagine. Alright, well, let's level out here. 144, we're about 45 degrees to that. If we have another contact, we should be able to detect it quickly. They are not exactly nearby, but I'd still like to get them, even if we have to do something now. I thought I set the depth. Let's do it this way. Not getting anything yet. Maybe this is just a bust. Maybe if you don't catch them in the right conditions, you just simply cannot in the end. Oh my gosh, this is totally new. Holy cow, that's awesome. I had no idea that this existed. So we can use our usual 0 to 1,000, now we can go to 0 to 2,000, and even 0 to 3,000 feet. Which, okay, so we're never going to use this one. This one will satisfy for it. If we ever have to use this one, it's already too late. That's still really cool. I didn't notice that. Um, Con sonar, new contact bearing. Oh, one. Con My. Contact, I need to identify quickly. No, it's a submarine. And we'll probably just launch it right away. Uh, oh, it's Con an alpha. Sonar, lost See, we lost him quickly. One. Let's bearing. just One, two, six. Contact faded. Let's go active on this 
one zero one I uh, one two five. These are very noisy submarines, so we have to expect that actually she's um not too close because we would have heard her. Still, let's go ahead and, and do something. Nice, An alpha. Alright, let's turn into her and see what we have. This isn't so quiet that eh, it's not that it's. I mean, this isn't so loud that we wouldn't be able to hear. I mean, four thousand thousand yards. Four thousand yards is pretty close. So I'm just gonna guess that this is uh, slightly further away than that. We'll study up on this bearing. I uh, this is definitely enough for our tow to ray to still catch them. But also, we want to start closing the gap. This is where things are going to get interesting when we have this active pulse. And I think what's going to happen is we, yeah, we're going to have to shift this slightly. Okay, F9. Really just wanted her to cavitate again. And I understand that that very it was not like incredibly likely to happen, but I'm pretty sure this thing is not that far away. So let's just start running it back in a silly configuration. Detect us. Can you detect us? I don't even know where my torpedo is. No visibility of her. Ah, there she is. Okay. So let's... Maybe loop this way. Maybe we just launch this torpedo and uh, end up uh, just leaving the battle. <laughs> yeah, this is a possibility too. I really don't like the alphas to get away. I would love to have, you know, something. I would love for something to have happened here. Does not look like it's going to happen. I kind of predict the distance to the target is somewhere here. You know, it could be that far, but. Alright, let's see what happens. We didn't get anything else, any other cavitations or anything. Um, one thing we could do is head towards the contact to get a little bit closer. I don't see any reason not to do that, so let's just go ahead and move Make flank speed three, three, towards nine, where the contact last nine. was for a little bit. Get a little bit deeper, maybe. Con maneuvering, making turns for. I want to go half the distance, which is where I kind of expect the ship more or less will be. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Do we have any kind of contacts? We're closer. I never actually identified it as an alpha, but it's probably... Our new contact bearing. One, eight, two. Designated Sierra okay. two. Got something. No, come off. I don't know, but I mean, I, I really don't know. Sierra 2 is supposed to be close. Let's reload this. Let's go ahead and launch at this new one. Just give me this. Uh, give me as good of a signal as you can before I launch, basically. We're barely detecting this with our tow array.
Oh, we're actually losing signal strength. That's not good. Move towards her. How many torpedoes do I want to waste just kind of trying on, to room. Two figure out ready. where the ship is? I cannot even see my submarine. Yeah, it might be kind of a waste of a time to do this mission, but let's do it anyway. Let's go after her. We'll just chase her down on the same method. We'll go flank speed for a bit. And then... Yeah, let's do it. Make turns for three. Three knots, maneuvering eye. Con, maneuvering, making turns for three, three knots. Rig ship for ultra quiet. All right, let's see what happens. Instead of shoot and scoot, it's scan and scoot. Not getting anything this time, though. We're actually close enough that there's a vessel nearby, which is pretty cool. But we're not detecting her. Let's just pull on a... Let's see. Yeah. Go full right rudder. And just start scanning the area, basically. We don't even need to go full, just drift us slowly around. Cinematic view of the Los Angeles class turning in a circle. <laughs> that may be all we can offer in this, uh, in this very passive episode so far. Con sonar regained contact on Got him. Sierra two bearing one. The nine, hell? One. They're contact are uh, cavitating. Okay. Now we need to turn immediately. This thing is cavitating. We have a terrible solution. They're in our baffles. I don't know. Oh, we don't have a baffles. We have a toad array. They should be close. Okay, let's just go ahead and launch it to her. I'm kind of confident that we can actually get some kind of Con hit on this one. Lost contact. Okay. Sierra two, last bearing one nine one. Contact faded. Shoot two one. Aye, sir. We want this thing to get up in the air very quickly, actually, because. I believe that one is operating at the surface. All right, I don't think we can actually alter the path of the torpedo until it goes active. Yeah, we don't have control yet. But as soon as it does, we're going to guide it kind of where that last one was. Contact test CR2, I mean. Still don't know what CR2 is at all, but damn it if we won't try to, sh to shoot it out of the water. That should be better. We probably climbed up to like, what, 400 feet or so? Should be a good. They usually dive though, so. Anyway. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Okay, that I was expecting something by now. The fact that we got nothing so far means. Con sonar regained contact oh. on Sierra two. Wait. Bearing one. Nine, zero. It's cavitating. Can you go in a circle until we get it? 
I think we've done something good, right? We induced a cavitation from this here, too. Just try and circle until you get it. Run that way. We want to turn slightly to star... no, no, to port. Left rudder. Just so we can get our totem. Our lost contact. Sierra two. Last bearing one nine one. Contact faded. They could be like really far away. All right, let's just send the torpedo out more. We can drive her back later. It's on this bearing, right? So, we should be confident doing this. Seems too far. It's got to be closer. Now, they do have anechoic coating or whatever, which is supposed to dissipate the return on these pulses, but okay, well this torpedo's a lost cause, let's go ahead and just kick up the speed and move towards Sierra 2 and see what happens. see what we have here. Again, let's do our steady drift. Kind of unnecessary for us to go as far back as I did. Basically, we just probably need a, a 90 degree scope or wiggle. Just, I don't know. I don't even know why it would help. We just need to basically let our toad ray see everything, and that just, I don't know what the blockage is of that. Probably like maybe I think we already looked. It was only like 20 degrees total or something. Hmm. This is truly what it would probably be like to be in a submarine. So we're on top of where oh, they're. Room, two, one, oh god, that scared me. <laughs> We're on top of their previous uh, location. Well, our guess at it. Let's actually head back. I feel like they might be behind us. But although, if they're behind us, okay, now. Well, let's just leave. An alpha and a November. Oh, we couldn't detect a November. All right. If it was so quiet that we couldn't, I mean, so loud that we couldn't detect a November, then you know what? Good riddance. Let's go for our target in Baron C. Ah. Okay. Well, that's not good. My first mission failed? Well, you know, you give me a mission in the Baron Sea, what do you expect? I'm, I'm very paranoid about returning there. Um, amphibious landing to Narvik. Great. Okay. That's still fine. Continue on course. So, Narvik. That means we're going to have to intercept it. Well, pretty much in this little loop between. Are they coming after me? Bastards. Okay, I want to intercept it like right here, which is as far east as or west as I can get and still intercept it. That's probably not off the continental shelf though, which I think extends a little bit further. Okay, 96. Let's get to it. Break ship for ultra quiet. We have here? Ah, wow. Amazing. It was actually deep enough. Okay. Con, sonar, new we are detecting bearing. everything Zero, since eight, this is great. At Zero, least it's nice four. and quiet. And yes, we are definitely... This is perfect. I need to remember this. I We just missed the continental shelf. That is perfect. 
So Narvik, if you just hang right above it, you're in good shape. Okay, let's start identifying these contacts. Wow, really perfect. <laughs> it's just wonderful. Noodaloy, my least favorite ship in the world. Okay, a Kanan. Next. Sierra 5 is classified as escort. A Rapucha. Next. Is classified as also a Rapucha. Next. Alligator. Sierra 4 is classified and as Udaloy. urgent. Okay, we got all five of these identified. Let's focus on this Udaloy. It definitely has to be the first to go. Hmm, that's weird. Udaloy to come up when I have the Udaloy selected. Extremely potent load. I think these are, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, oh yeah, we've already maybe been detected. Um, extremely potent sensing de uh, equipment, detection equipment, whatever, ASW equipment. Lots of reasons why we shouldn't like this guy, why he needs to be the absolute first to die. So active pings, they, they technically can hear us. Now I can actually turn away from him and narrow my, both narrow my, well it's going to also decrease my um, ability to get a good firing solution on him because we won't be, the more 90 perpendicular to his, to the angle, the, what, what am I trying to say, to his bearing for us the more perpendicular to the bearing we are, the better of a solution we're going to get just by moving north and south, or if he's over here to the east, we'll figure out how much a little bit of movement affects his bearing. Okay, now you two, he doesn't get us now, but the toad, his toad ray is going to start detecting us. No, no, his toad, I think that means we're in, his toad ray is ineffective. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Okay, Sierra 6, Zero, nine, let's identify four, this real fast. Sierra 6. Probably, uh, yeah, there it is. Con sonar, Sierra there's actually is classified as escort. But there's another one that's just like it. Like the Canaan and the Cashin were supposed to have really similar profiles. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so all these guys are turning away. That means they have detected us. It's a pretty clear sign that something's going. They know something's going on. Just give me a, like a good reading on this Udloy, and I'll be happy. And that means, unfortunately, that we have a helicopter trying to scout us out as well. So we'll have to watch out for that. In that case, since there's no layer here, let's just go ahead and dive very, very, very deep. And I'm just going to use this. So down moves us to a higher number. Let's go to something as low as 600 feet. More time to react is always good, right? What's this? Ah, huh, cool. I, they really are making a lot of useful improvements. To the beta. Okay, let's get this squared away. Udaloy has to die first. Still not picking up the Udaloy very well. Okay, now we have a better... Okay, now I think it's time to launch. One, so probably make it one two zero or so. Um, I will hit the surface, but there's no layer, so it's not really going to matter. I'm just manually guided in, and it's quiet enough that I'm going to use passive two, detection. Two, one, I sir. Go. Now this signal coming up here I think is a helicopter. Maybe. 
All right, my monitor's dirty. I can't really see. That yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> I could do, do it this way. I can tell where he is now. Oh, he's pretty far away. Oh, there's my torpedo. Yeah, but I think that is where this is coming from, basically. Some random act of ping. From way to our north. Might as well get one off on the cache in as well. So 063, let's make that 060. I really, 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 really wish they had some kind of way of telling you when you were being hit by depth charges. And that's amazing, by the way, that we were hit by depth charges that quickly. Alright, let's narrow this one in. Let's look for the next wave. Not bad, I'm not worried, but 77% means we'll probably limit our dive depth to maybe a thousand. See, their countermeasures seem to work really well. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. I think it just went under the Uloi. Alright, hopefully this is rising it to surface it is. Okay, I'm going to go back to this, just so we don't miss any more depth charges. That's amazing that they depth charged us. I, would, I didn't know that they had that good of a position on us. They really did. It's amazing. Okay, wrong one. This looks good. Console Got it. Lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, one. Four, two. Contact breaking up. Okay, reload. Let's also launch one at this cache in coming in. I don't really care what it gets, to be honest. I'm, I'm not just, you can acquire whatever it wants. In fact, maybe we'll sink, oh, which one's between the Rapucha? Uh, is 4,000, 4,000, alligators, 4, they're all 4,000, so they should all sink with a single harpoon. Okay, let, let's put it on the cache in then. Shoot two, two. Aye, sir. Let's get it out there, hopefully we don't lose. Um, a wire on it that we can guide later. You know, I might actually kind of gear it towards the Rapucha and then later drag it. So, 099. You'll want to go a little bit higher than that, 098 or so, to anticipate, you know, the what surely it's going to do is start. Are you not acquired yet? Propulsion's repaired, good. Big ship for ultra quiet. You haven't required. I'm a little worried. Give me this Canaan. Fire control. Weapon acquired. Got it. Okay, good. So we're starting to get worried. These do go further the less time you have them active for. So if we kind of just let this guy go way out here. Before we let him go active. He'll hit something that way and we're being a little bit safer about um, oh, there goes the Udaloi. We're being a little bit safer uh, about the distance which I think is still fine anyway. Let's just take a look. Uh, it's th that's pretty far actually. Homing. Countermeasure homing. Okay. Gotta watch out for more depth charges. So, only 77% and propulsion is now repaired. Just have this repair pumps. To the engine room. Um, I'm not worried about it, but if something was to happen on the ship, that's the first thing I want to be repaired, is my pump. Usually, so we can control flooding. How's this thing doing? Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Alright, keep doing your thing. Weapon acquired. That you it seems like we should have there it is, the ship. Con sonar off contact. Sierra five. Last bearing zero five five. Contact breaking up. 
Okay. Interesting. I wonder what the contact breaking up sounds like. If you just have a torpedo detonation versus a torpedo detonation onto the ship that, I mean, basically connects. I wonder what it sounds like different. We do need to get this cash in back eventually. No, she's out there. We're flooding. It's our depth. Damage control party. Need the reactor space. Huh, okay. Looks like we're gonna have a bit of flooding to contend with, but it doesn't look like it's too serious. I mean that that is serious, it means that we can't. <laughs> Actually, oh, we have this stupid helicopter still near us. How near us? Yeah, close enough. Um, have we lost tube two? No, this is amazing. We have not lost tube two yet. Okay, we'll keep bringing it in. Let's see if we can get this cash in. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. I think we're gonna gear this thing right towards the alligator. The Rapucha might have been a little bit too far. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra six bearing one Got it. zero three. Okay, now let's uh, go ahead and switch over to now that we know that that one's done. I don't think alligators have such thing as uh like evasive maneuvers or what is it I'm trying to say? Fire control evasion. What, what would that be, what would that be to avoid? Countermeasure. Weapon. They don't have any countermeasures. That's the word I was looking for. Here's it. Only serious. Only six, huh? I'm kind of used to more ships, to be very honest. And this Cashin doesn't have any idea where we are yet. Well, it, it may just because, of course. There's a helicopter in the water. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra okay. four. Got one. Just means zero, that we'll have to do eight, one less harpoon, which I'll start loading. I don't think we're gonna need after already sinking two of the escorts, I'm doubt I doubt we we'll very much will need the um the moss. Okay, let's do this. Let's wait for this cache and get a little bit closer. We probably could launch at it now. 103. Anticipate 104. 108 sounds good. And go ahead and launch. Shoot two one, aye sir. Con torpedo room two two ready. Still flooding, huh? Well, at least we're attempting to control it. Con torpedo room two four ready. We are looking for it, right? Yeah, okay. And come up to the surface. Oh, shit. Yeah, they don't know where we are, I guess. Pretty sure that was, uh, <laughs> depth charges being launched to me. Yeah, okay, we really don't know where this cache is, and I'm, I'm a little concerned about this. Our torpedo is running over its current location, which means it's probably we missed it. Not. 
Send it back. Send her back. <laughs> Try it again. And you are really close to the surface already, so you shouldn't have any problems detecting it. And the cache is it's not too terribly noisy. So let's just try to wait and see if it get, needs to get a little bit closer. I mean, we seem to be right on mark with it. Con, fire Got it. Control. There it is. Alright, let's make our depth in the meantime 200. So we can start getting these, uh, these harpoons launched. Sonar, noisemaker, bearing, zero, nine, six. Whoa. It didn't, it didn't connect. Okay, well, let's get another one. Shoot two, three. Aye, sir. Helicopter is di displacing. Went right past us, I believe. Oh yeah, right past us. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Nobody here. We need to look at. Con torpedo room two point ready. Dive at two zero zero feet. Dive by. We have a pretty good idea this is its actual location. That's pretty close to the surface, too. Because we saw the torpedo turning and acquiring, and we knew where the torpedo was. surface. I mean, that's close enough, right? It's like 50 feet below the surface. Yeah, hopefully that's enough. Let's see, can she detect us? No, she can't currently, but this helicopter... Where the hell are we? Oh, okay, it's starting to miss us more and more. As soon as that torpedo acquires, we will begin launching our... I mean, not acquires, but hopefully detonates this time. We'll... Got it. Okay. Weapon acquired. How's our damage? I mean, we should be able to actually control the flooding, yeah, when over uh, this shallow. Less water pressure. Homing. Con sonar, Sierra six Got him. is classified as escort. See, it was a Krivak. Did I end up I was saying Kanan. See, the Krivak and the Kanan, not the Cash and the Kanan, but the Krivak and the Kanan apparently have very similar noise profiles. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the last bit, which is narrow. And not probably, it's probably not necessary, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, go ahead and acquire this one, this one only, please. And go ahead and acquire this one and this one only, please. Sir. Let's make our depth much deeper in a hurry. Helicopter now the thing we have to concern ourselves with. Yeah, I think we're okay. If we launched the torpedo right now, we'd be we'd have plenty of time to get out of the way. Con, torpedo room, two, three ready. I think I have them past this destroyer, yeah, but it's still sinking that Krivak, it's pretty close, but... Go ahead and make our depth, like, 700 is fine. No, 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 600, because we're damaged. I want to be very cautious about this. Yeah, we're starting to not be able to control flooding as much. And surely below 500 feet we're not going to be able to control that, so...
Here it comes. Lost contact. Zero, two. Last bearing. Zero, seven, three. There's the one. And there's the other. Nice. Okay, so I, I don't think we have to worry about anything. Let's just uh, flooding. Okay, let's figure out what we're gonna do then. We're gonna have to do this like move very quickly away from this. Well, basically, as soon as we're away from the helicopter, we can um, just raise the surface. Let's do this, by the way, uh, to control our flooding, and then we can we can leave. Torpedo room, tube two ready. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. Let's head away from this guy. I wish I could do this faster. Okay, Zero. now that should be far enough away. Zero. Okay, that's it. So now let's. No, 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 no. Don't go this way. I think that's far enough away. Let's hope. Let's see what happens. Make our depth. Well, we can control the flooding at 200, so let's make our depth. Make turn. Make turns. There we go. Control the flooding. Five knots, just so this is important, so that we don't. No, don't come near me. Hopefully you're far enough away that we don't have to worry about you. I think we are. Flooding, control that. Wait, sorry. Can you make that 200? I'm pretty sure I interrupted. I'm not blaming the people on that. No. Are you kidding me? It's so weird. What is it doing? By the way, you have no place to go back to. I wouldn't be wasting all your fuel, helicopter. <laughs> if you want to get back home, you're going to need to... Okay, whatever. Leave combat. Sank at everything. Very good. Let's go home. We have a lot of ordnance, unfortunately, so we might have some problems getting home in time. Legion of Merit Medal to Commander Tortuga Power. Exceptional and consistently outstanding service as commanding officer throughout numerous patrols during a time of war. His leadership and tactical skills ensured success in his numerous duties and reflect great credit upon himself and the United States Naval Service. That one's uh, nice. I like the green. Red's out of Norway. Yay, we did it. We actually helped for once. Okay, Wolfpack, Diesel Electric, that's awesome. I love everything about this in the North Sea that's even better. File will destroy. Okay, when are they going to be there? They're just headed there. I think we're going to have to take them out before we do anything else. Now, um, okay, let's close this. A little bug. North Sea. Let me pause. I think we're going to have time. Unless this. Let's follow this. Dang it. Let's see. We're looking for any kind of helicopters. I mean, sorry, submarines. Oh, that's them. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and wait for them. I think the best part might be. Oh, wait. Okay, what's going on? West re enter West Germany. We've retaken West Germany. So, um, I forget who was saying that they live in West Germany. Was it. Uh. Gaustrief? I can't remember the name, but we've retaken his land, his home. <laughs> He's now back, operating in the... Okay, this is not Northern Sea. That looks like a patrol. But I'm not sure, so I'm going to have to go for it. Do we somehow miss them? Oh, that's the one we want. Never mind. That's definitely the one we want. Which means the one that is closest to me is not the one we want. Okay, good. Let's try to do it there. That's this is perfect timing. 
Gotcha. That should be a good spot. So I'm going to save the, or I'm going to call this video to a close here. Obviously, we're 45 minutes in. But I'm happy that we are actually able to get to this next one in time. So we'll have to do this with a damaged hole, but that's fine. Until the next episode, thanks for watching and take care.